In this nugget, we're going to look at isotopes. Here is an atom. It is the number of protons in an atom that tells us which element this atom is. You can change the number of electrons. You can even change the number of neutrons. But atoms from the same element always have the same number of protons. This is an atom of lithium. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of one atom of that element. Lithium has three protons. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of one atom of that element. The difference between the two numbers tells us the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Here we have two isotopes of lithium. Isotopes are different forms of the same element. They are the same element, so they have the same number of protons but they have different numbers of neutrons. Atoms have no overall charge, so they will both have the same number of electrons as they have protons. They have the same number of protons, so they're the same element and they'll have the same atomic number, but they have different numbers of neutrons, so they will have a different mass number. We have ways of writing down isotopes, so we know which isotope of the element we're dealing with. So for example, we can write lithium-6 and lithium-7. We could also use the symbol, so Li-6 and Li-7. We could write it like this, which is the symbol with the mass number and the atomic number. Not all the ways of writing isotopes have the atomic number listed. This is because we have the element name or symbol written there. If it's lithium, it has to have three protons because the number of protons determines the element. If it didn't have three protons, it wouldn't be lithium. On the periodic table, the relative atomic mass is listed. This is the weighted average of all the isotopes of that element, and it takes into account how abundant each isotope is. That means how much there is of each type. You might be given a certain isotope in a question. For example, how many neutrons are there in an atom of magnesium-25? You can use the nuclear symbol on your periodic table to find out how many protons magnesium has. Here is magnesium's nuclear symbol from the periodic table. The atomic number is the smaller of the two numbers, so magnesium has 12 protons. This is where you can trip up. The question has asked you for the number of neutrons in the isotope magnesium-25 but the periodic table is showing you the isotope magnesium-24. That's because the periodic table shows you the weighted average of all of the magnesium atoms. So for this particular type of question, we have to ignore the relative atomic mass on the periodic table and use the mass number that has been given to you in the question. So the number of protons is 12, because all magnesium atoms have 12 protons. The number of neutrons is the difference between the mass number and the atomic number. So our mass number is 25. 25 minus 12 is 13. So magnesium 25 has 13 neutrons. To summarise, you can find out the number of subatomic particles in an atom by looking at the periodic table. The atomic number tells us how many protons are in the nucleus of an atom. The mass number tells us the number of protons and neutrons in an atom. Isotopes are different forms of the same element. They have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Isotopes of an element have the same number of protons, so they will have the same atomic number. But they have different numbers of neutrons, so they will have a different mass number. On the periodic table, the relative atomic mass is listed. This is the weighted average of all the isotopes of that element, and it takes into account how abundant each isotope is. On your periodic table, the relative atomic mass is the same as the mass number. Keywords Atom Tiny particles that make up all matter. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. Element. 
a pure substance made up of one type of atom. Different elements have different numbers of protons. Subatomic particles. Particles smaller than an atom. This group includes protons, neutrons and electrons. Isotopes. Atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons. The periodic table. A system that organises the elements based on their atomic number. Atomic number. The number of protons in one atom of an element. Mass number. The total number of protons and neutrons in one atom of an element.